Hey guys, uh, thanks for joining us. Um, I'll start sharing my screen here. And I am very excited to do this multi-cloud uh, CI-CD with failover using Kubernetes and Istio and Helm. Um, this is a talk that I was able to give recently at the Seattle Kubernetes meetup, as well as the San Francisco uh, Kubernetes meetup back to back. And it was, it was actually a lot of fun, really exciting. And um, for those that are asking, yes, we are going to do all this stuff in a live environment we're going to hands on keyboard, do some terminal. We're going to run pipelines. Um, we're going to show how these clusters work. So it's going to be very hands on, uh, but we'll also explain sort of conceptually how it works. So I'm glad you tuned in and uh, let me share my presentation. And as, as, uh, and I, I think everybody can see my screen and, and holler in the chat if you can't. Um, I will just remind you as we go through this, there is a QA section on your Zoom where you can answer, ask questions. Um, please, as we go along, put questions in there because that's more for us to respond to. And, um, and it's a lot more fun when people are asking questions and engaging. So like Taryn said, I'm Dan Garfield. I'm a Chief Evangelist for CodeFresh. I've been doing Kubernetes and Istio and Helm um, for a while now. And uh, my background is a full stack engineer. Um, and, uh, and so, um, this stuff is all really exciting to me. So it was a lot of fun to build a multi-cluster, multi-cloud setup. Um, so I'm excited to share that with you. So uh, just to introduce kind of why I'm doing this on behalf of CodeFresh, we are a Kubernetes native CI CD platform. Uh, we're, we have about 20,000 users and, and people like Arm and Giphy. If, if you've ever watched a video on adultswim.com or cnn.com, you're, you're uh, using software that was built using CodeFresh. Um, they, they use all our, they use our CI CD to build all that stuff. So that's why we care because we are super concerned with Kubernetes and Helm and um, kind of all of these, what we call cloud native technologies, whatever that means, cloud native technologies. That's what we're, that's sort of our, our, our bread and butter. So that's where we come from. So let's talk for a second about uh, some things that happened <laughs> semi recently. Um, there have been some outages uh, that are caused by um, a variety of things. In this case, uh, Stuart here can't turn his lights down because if this, then that was down. Um, so it's kind of a bummer. Uh, it's, it's never fun when people can't use your service. This one's pretty good. Um, <laughs> it's, it, it's getting, uh, the, they can't adjust the thermostat because Nest was down and it was because of an S3 outage. So this kind of stuff is disappointing, but I think my favorite of all of the outages tweets is this one, <laughs> and I'll let you read it. I'll give you a second to read it. <laughs> so, so I can hear you chuckling at home. Uh, <laughs> this is pretty great. The idea that you can't turn off your oven because of an outage. Uh, now that probably points to some architectural problems uh, <laughs> with, with your technology. Um, but the bottom line is that downtime stinks. Uh, nobody likes it. There are a lot of reasons why a Kubernetes app might fail. Uh, you know, maybe the cluster is out of resources. Maybe there's a bad configuration. Maybe there's a node failure that's not being addressed. Um, and a lot of these things can be mitigated with a multi-cluster or what I'll introduce as cross-cluster um, setup. So. Let me explain how multi-cluster works and, and then we'll get into the, I, I see these messages, people are very anxious for us to get hands on keyboard here. And so we're gonna do that. But um, a multi-cluster setup, what you do is you have two clusters. Now they could be on different clouds. They can be in different availability zones. One could be on GKE and one could be on-prem. Uh, one could be a, a, uh, a Raspberry Pi cluster sitting in your basement and one could be uh, uh, an uh, Azure, you know, AKS instance. Um, doesn't really matter. The, the basis is that you have two clusters. And in multi-cluster, you have sort of a master cluster, which is going to be, in this case, cluster one. And then you have all of these sort of clusters available for it, in this case, cluster two. And you can see here, I think you can see my mouse, the cluster one has a full uh, a full Istio control plane installed on it. And cluster two only needs a partial control plane. 
And, and really what this is doing is cluster two needs to be able to handle some networking and it needs to be able to handle uh, pod injection and a few little things that Istio needs to function. But once you have those two things set up, and as a, as a side note, um, these two clusters need to be on different subnets, uh, meaning the pods actually need to have IP addresses that are all routable to each other, and so they cannot have collisions with their IP addresses. Now, um, if you've ever tried to change the subnet on a Kubernetes cluster that has already been set up, you will know that it is uh, basically impossible. <laughs> you basically have to set it up properly from the beginning. So um, that's something to be aware of as you go to, to per, uh, maybe replicate this. Um, but once you've done that, uh, you're gonna connect the clusters with some kind of VPC. Now it could be a VPN tunnel. Um, Google has a cool technology called proxy IP that, uh, that they use that makes this subnet thing um, uh, not an issue. And basically your goal here is you just want pods between two clusters to be able to reach each other. That's it. And once you've accomplished that, and um, there are a lot of tutorials out there on how to set up a VPC or set up a VPN tunnel um, between, uh, between clouds. And um, that's, that's kind of the area of this that, uh, that I don't want to focus on today. But once you have this set up, you can route, uh, you know, you can have pods talk to each other. And now what we're going to do is we'll introduce our application. And a Kubernetes application is made up of a couple of components, right? We have our service. We have that talking to a deployment, and that deployment describes a set of pods. Now, in a multi-cluster setup, what's going to happen is your user is going to come in through cluster one to this Istio control plane, and that's going to route them to this service, service one. Then service one, because we have the cross-cluster setup going on, is actually going to see deployment one and deployment two as if they are on the same cluster. So this is part of Istio's uh, service discovery capabilities. Basically, it makes, it makes um, the service one think that deployment one and deployment two are on the same cluster. And so it treats them as if there were just two deployments on cluster one. Now, all of your pods on and deployment in cluster one can die, but your deployment will still work from cluster two. In fact, Istio is smart enough that even if your service deployment and pods all were deleted from cluster one, they would all just route from cluster two. Now this is called multi-cluster. It's, it's based on some work that Cisco did um, and added into Istio, which is pretty awesome. Now, to go a step further, and, and some of you might already realize this, hey, hey, uh, I can hear you saying, Dan, it seems like there's a limitation. People have to go in through cluster one. Well, sort of. If they come in through cluster two, they won't ever be routed to cluster one, but they can consume cluster two. Now, if you want them to act the same, then this is called cross-cluster, okay? So this is multi-cluster, right? Which is I have one cluster that sort of controls these others and, and serves up content from other clusters, but the networking always goes through cluster one. Cross-cluster is basically everything is like cluster one. Everything has a full control plane and also can route to this separate uh, to the separate um, uh, clusters that exist. So I hope that makes sense. And, and uh, if it doesn't, it should soon uh, as we get into demonstrating this. 